What's up guys, my name is Ron from Comics and Stuff and for today's episode, we are going over Marvel Legends, Marvel's Beast, brought to you by Hasbro. And like we've seen in many of these retro card packaging, it comes in a clear window box showing off the Beast and his lab gear, which I'm quite anxious to see and get a hold of because they look pretty cool. At the top, it does say the Uncanny X-Men, top left hand corner, Marvel Comics, as well as other faces of the other X-Men. Marvel's Beast right there, and I gotta say, it looks pretty cool, showing him all happy-go-lucky like Beast should be. At the back, it shows Legality's barcode, a nice product picture of Beast holding his glab gear, Uncanny X-Men right there, an outline of Beast, as well as a nice little biography right there. But now that we went through the packaging and all of that, let's open it up and check out the figure. All right, and here is the beast outside of his package. Now he looks cool and everything like that, but you may have noticed that I did take off his lab coat because we're gonna get into it a little more detailed. But before we do that, let's do some measurements real quick. And he stands at about 6.75, six and three quarters. Now as promised, let's go into this jacket because I do think it's pretty cool that they included a soft goods accessory with a Marvel Legends. And as you guys can see, the stitch work does not look that bad. There is a pocket to imitate a pocket, but it's not really a pocket. I mean, there is no opening. There is a split on the back. For what it is, it does look like a lab coat and I'd rather say that it looks pretty dang good <laughs> on the beast. Now for our next accessory, let's go into these glasses because we have seen them before in the retro gray beast. I mean, that is clear right there and it does have some paint in the middle and on the sides. And this alternate head that, you know, also, we've seen before it came with the Grey Beast and it was the actual head for that Caliban wave. If I'm not mistaken, that's the right wave. But yeah, for that beast, then it looks good. I mean, I got no reference point because I don't have that Caliban wave uh, beast, but I'm not sure if it's exactly the same. Let me know in down in the comments. Now. The next accessories though, are these pairs of hands. I mean, there's one that's open in order for him to like palm stuff, but there's also this one. And you see guys, both of them, his claws are painted. Anyway, this one pretty much holds these beakers. And it's a pretty good grip too. And the good thing is, at least for the Grey Beast, the Grey Beast got that hand as well. So. There is no problem like interchanging these beakers between them, but let's get into these beakers because I do think one of them is cool, which is this one that got the X gene. And as you guys can see, the plastic that's inside the beaker right here is shaped like the flask. So that's cool. Really, really cool. I do dig that. But then we go to this one. And I mean, like, what the heck? <laughs> I'm like, what the heck is going on here? What kind of water is this? Like, I'd rather it be hollow and you just pour your own liquid inside or something like that. You know, like Kool-Aid or whatever it is. Anyway, let's put these accessories right here to the side. And let's get into this beast figure. Now, beast is a staple among the X-Men. I mean, <laughs> he's part of the original team. So I needed a blue beast. I only had the retro gray beast and the blue beast from way back when, but I didn't have the Hasbro blue beast that comes in this body, which all the beasts do now. And why not? Because this beast body is pretty dang great for him. I mean, the sculpting everywhere. As you guys could see, sculpt all over the place. And the paint that's there, there's some shading. There's some shading on his chest, some shading on his shoulders. The paint that is on this beast, particularly, basically, the, the belt is well applied. And the face, those fangs got a bit of white. Speaking of that face, this is basically what's new about him. And he looks good. 
I mean, it looks like how Beast is meant to look. Pretty dang stern, but intellectual. <laughs> so I do really much like that. I mean, guys, I knew what I was going to get into when I bought this beast. I had the retro gray beast and it is the same body. So I knew what I was going to get into. I knew I was going to like the articulation. And from what I saw, the head sculpt. So I'm quite happy with this piece. But let's get into the articulation just to get into it for you guys. I mean, it is in the ball hinge and it looks up that much. Down that much. There is some tilt. And of course, you're going to get your rotation. Now, shoulders. It's a basic T pose. 360 all the way. And there are butterfly joints. So bring them in close together like so. And yeah, he could pretty much lift someone off their feet. And it does have quite a bit of range going backwards as well. Now, his bicep. There is a biceps cut right there. Double jointed elbows that get you about that much before these plastics start meeting. There is a swivel and a hinge on the hands. Now, his, you know, his whole torso articulation, there is that upside down ab crunch and a diaphragm cut. So there is that combo. We're just going to do the diaphragm cut for now, which gives you tilt pretty dang good forward. Not too much. Back a whole lot better. Now with the co in conjunction. Forward a bit better now. Hold up. Let me so you guys can see. A bit better. So that's much more like it. Backwards a lot better. So I do like this articulation. And you know, like I said, <laughs> I've already know what I'm getting into with this. Not quite full splits, but it's not bad. It kicks forward that much, back this much. There is a thigh cut, double jointed knees that get you about that much range. And ankles go up like this, go back like this. There is pivot and there is a toe hinge. So articulation for a big figure, the sculpt and all that. Put together, what do I think? <laughs> I'm pretty much liking it, but let's do some quick comparisons with some other figures to see how well he fits in with the other X-Men. And for our first comparison, we're going to have a multiverse crossover with the G.I. Joe Classified series. Right there on the left is Lady J. And on the right is Spirit. And scaled up to the Beast, I think works well. I mean, Beast is supposed to be pretty big, so... Let's head into our next comparison. And our next comparison will be another multiverse crossover with McFarlane Toys, Batman, White Knight right there on the right, and the Joker right there on the left. Now, unlike the G.I. Joe Classified series, this is a lot less fudgeable, and it makes sense because it is a bigger scale. Batman shouldn't be over towering beasts like that, so yeah, doesn't work much for me. All right, and here we have Beast with a couple of X-Men from that 90s blue team. We got Cyclops right there on the right, Gambit next to him, Jubilee on the left of Beast, and Wolverine right next to her. Now, a couple of these figures, basically Cyclops, Jubilee, and Wolverine, are part of the BHS animated series. You know, they got that cell shading look. But Beast and Gambit are part of the retro card side. Intermingling between these two lines, though, I think works. I do have Rogue on the retro card. I just haven't unpackaged her and I got no Psylocke whatsoever. And it does look like I'm going to have to buy her because, yeah, <laughs> I think this looks just great. And for our final comparison, here we have him stacked up with the only other two beasts that I do got. On the right, we got the gray beast from not too long ago. And on the left, we got the blue beast from way <laughs> long ago. Now, this blue beast, I still think holds up. I mean, he's looking rather dapper in that trench coat. And this gray beast, I do have a video up. So I will leave a link for that. I think they all look good. But this one will definitely be my blue beast going forward. 
So in conclusion, I do enjoy this beast. I mean, I knew what I was gonna get since I had the gray beast, the articulation, I'm happy with the sculpt, I'm happy with the new head sculpts are actually pretty dang good and the accessories for the most part are pretty good as well, specifically the lab coat. I mean, if you guys are interested in it, I will leave a link down in the descriptions. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Ron from Comics and Stuff, and I'll check you guys on the next episode. Peace.